despite having one of the most famous fathers in the world. Tiffany Trump has managed to evade the glare of fame so well that many have forgotten who she is. However, Tiffany returned to the spotlight when she got engaged to an heir billionaire, and the news of their impending marriage filled the air. The biggest shock, however, was when the dream wedding was almost canceled. What went wrong that was so bad that major aspects of Tiffany's wedding had to be canceled? Let's get into it. Tiffany Oriana Trump was born on October 13, 1993, at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach, Florida, to former U.S. President Donald Trump and his second wife, Marla Maples. Tiffany got her name from the jewelry company Tiffany & Co. because her father bought the company's Fifth Avenue flagship store in the 1980s while he built the Trump Tower next door. Young Tiffany was the only child between her parents, and her birth had happened out of wedlock, which wouldn't have bothered anyone except for the fact that the circumstances surrounding her parents' relationship weren't ideal. Her father was married to his first wife, Ivana Trump, when he started dating Marla, who at the time was an actress and TV personality. Therefore, the extramarital affair was well publicized, and this led to her father getting divorced from his first wife. A few months after this divorce, Marla got pregnant, and Tiffany was born. Her parents got married in 1993, a few months after her birth, but got a divorce in 1999 after being separated for two years initially. Perhaps because of how her parents' relationship started, her mother decided to take her away from the watchful eyes of the media. So the two relocated to California, where she brought her up. Growing up away from her three older half-siblings, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, from her father's first marriage, and her younger half-brother, Baron, from her father's third marriage, Tiffany said in a 2011 Oprah segment, Since I've grown up on the West Coast, it definitely is different than all of them growing up on the East Coast. It's a different lifestyle, obviously. California versus New York. In New York, my dad is like the center of the city. Her father had ensured that he remained in her life. And having a lot of money, he ensured Tiffany had the same perks her half-siblings enjoyed. After all, she was a Trump. Tiffany attended Viewpoint School in Calabasas, California. Just like all other Trump's children, she graduated in 2012. She furthered her education at the University of Pennsylvania, where her father was an alma mater, and graduated in 2016 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in sociology with a concentration in law and society. She's a smart kid, apparently. She's got all A's a pen, so we're proud of her, her father said when she graduated in May. After her graduation in 2016, she proceeded to Georgetown University Law Center in Washington, D.C., majored in law, and was awarded a JD degree in May 2020. Unlike her mother, Tiffany dived into music in 2011 and dropped a single titled Like a Bird, an auto-tune electro-pop jam. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, when asked if she would take music professionally, she said, I love music. It's always been very dear to me. It's a big passion. It's more of a hobby right now, but we'll see in a couple of years if I want to take it to the next level as a professional. Tiffany also went down the route of a model, following the footsteps of her mother, her stepmother Melanie, and stepsister Ivanka. She worked as an intern for Vogue and was modeled for Andre Warren during New York Fashion Week. Presently, Tiffany is currently a research assistant in Georgetown University Law Center. Tiffany dated Ross, a fellow student at the University of Pennsylvania. They were often seen together, but the relationship lasted for only two years, from 2015 to 2017. Tiffany went on vacation with actress Lindsay Lohan during the summer of 2018, where she met Michael Bolas, a Lebanese-American billionaire heir and business executive. According to Lohan in 2019, I wasn't there when they met. I know him, and I know her, but I don't know what happened. Well, what happened was that the duo fell in love and began dating. Born on August 27, 1997, in the Lebanese village of Kwaraka to Masad Boulos, Chief Executive Officer of Boulos Enterprise and SCOA Nigeria and Sierra Boulos, who happened to found the Society of Performing Arts in Nigeria. Michael Boulos is of Lebanese and French descent. He relocated to Nigeria where his family's business was based at a young age, and studied at the American School of Lagos. He moved to London to further his education. There, he bagged a bachelor's degree in global business management at Regent University in 2018. And in 2019, he had a master's degree in project management, finance, and risk at the City University of London. 
He became the director of FADOL Group in 2019, just the day before Biden's inauguration. Michael proposed to Tiffany in the White House Rose Garden with a 13-carat emerald-cut diamond from Dubai said to be worth $1.2 million. Tiffany couldn't contain her excitement, as she shared in the gram. It has been an honor to celebrate many milestones, historic occasions and create memories with my family here at the White House. None more special than my engagement to my amazing fiancé, Michael feeling blessed and excited for the next chapter. Michael also couldn't hide his, as he also announced their engagement writing, got engaged to the love of my life. Looking forward to our next chapter together. On the wedding day, the former US president dressed in a sharp black tuxedo with a flower pinned to his lapel, walked as Tiffany down the aisle on November 12, 2022, at his Mar-a-Lago Resort in Palm Beach, Florida. Her mother said Tiffany chose the venue because it was her childhood home, in her own words, where she was brought into the world. Sources said that, at one point, Tiffany was eyeing Greece as a location for a second wedding ceremony abroad, after deciding to hold the main US celebration at Mar-a-Lago, less than two hours north of the couple's current Miami residence. The couple hired Tony Brace, a Lebanese wedding and event planner, to arrange their dream nuptials. Brace is known for his over-the-top ashes and images from the day show that he pulled out all the stops for the Trump wedding. The garden was well decorated with an array of bright, colorful flowers arching over the garden. Blues, purples, pinks, and creams created an eye-catching backdrop for the bride and her groom. Tiffany's bridal dress was an inclination to her husband's Lebanese heritage. Her mother told People magazine, It's a Lebanese-American wedding, so we were happy to have Ellie Saab create the magic. The long-sleeved gown appeared to be diamond-encrusted and had a square neckline with a pinched waist with intricate beading and a princess-like silhouette. Tiffany wore her hair in Hollywood waves, swept to the side, and topped it off with a delicate veil. Her mother also wore a one-shouldered lavender number made by Ellie Saab on her Tiffany's big day. The lovebirds tied the knot in front of family and friends underneath a gazebo adorned with a halo of flowers. The floral arrangement notably matched the light blue hue of the dresses worn by Tiffany's bridesmaids, including her older sister, Ivanka. During the exchange of vows and rings, it was observed that Tiffany's wedding ring was an upgraded version of her engagement ring and it was worth an estimated $1.5 million, perhaps because it was upgraded with a bigger stone in the center and bigger side stones. The original design was estimated to be worth upwards of $1.2 million, but the larger stones are believed to have bumped up the cost. The new center diamond was a G color grade. The stone also boasts a BVS1 clarity grade, which is close to perfect. Talking about perfect, the drop earrings the bride wore matched the ring. Designed by Samar Halime for her big day, the 16, mostly pear-shaped diamonds that comprise her stunning earrings have a total weight of 20 plus carats. It was a day filled with special and sentimental moments, but one of the most special touches was the extraordinary wedding cake. According to People, it was modeled after the magnificent centerpiece that graced the bride's parents' marriage many years ago. A source stated, Tiffany has never been a people divider, noting that all of the Trumps were in attendance. This is a joyous family occasion. Clearly, Tiffany's really loved by her siblings, all of them, including Ivanka, Donald Jr., Eric, and Baron, who were there. Her elder sister Ivanka, who also served as her sister's matron of honor, couldn't keep to herself and kept on gushing about her little sister getting married. Ivanka wrote, When I was 12 years old, my dream of having a baby sister came true. From the first moment I held Tiffany in my arms and looked into those big, kind, curious blue eyes, I was smitten. Still celebrating her sister, she added, Tiffany radiates love, compassion, and grace, attributes that she will bring into her marriage with Michael. I wish Tiffany and Michael an abundance of happiness and joy as they begin their lives together as husband and wife. May their love be a source of light in this world. A few Twitter users couldn't resist the urge to point out that Ivanka's gown was inspired by a film about a retired jewel thief who sets out to prove his innocence amid her father's ongoing legal battles. Ivanka's blue dress was modeled after Grace Kelly's in To Catch a Thief, a 1955 film. How's that for poetic justice? One person tweeted. Another added, Ivanka's dress was a replica of Grace Kelly's dress from To Catch a Thief. The irony could not possibly have been lost on her. This jab from certain observers 
was in lieu of the accusation of financial fraud leveled against the bride's father, something others feel should not be used to spoil Tiffany's wedding ceremony. Probably Ivanka is just a fan of the late Princess of Monaco, who died in a car crash in September 1982 and remains a style icon until this day. The Trump family might be a divided one, not just for politics and pending legal actions against Trump himself, yet they made sure to celebrate Tiffany's joyous occasion with her bringing them all in unity. Even Melania Trump, who was known not to have a good relationship with Marla, was present. In a video on Instagram, the couple are given a standing ovation as they entered the reception. Tiffany then turns to Melania, who blows her a kiss. Clearly, whatever bad blood was between Melania and Marla had nothing to do with the lovely bride. Marla, who said a prayer during the wedding service, said, We're focused on the sacred union and welcoming beloved friends and family, not on politics. Though Trump was reportedly in a bad mood after the midterm elections, he has been upset and ranting like a raging bull for the past couple of days, a political source told People magazine. Marla confirmed that despite his bad mood, he still performed his traditional fatherly duties during the wedding festivities, including walking his daughter down the aisle and partaking in a father-daughter dance. The couple's first dance was the Top Loader's hit, Dancing in the Moonlight. This was played during the reception, which took place indoors. Not only was live music playing, but dancers dressed in featherly ensembles entertained the guests. Candles, purple lighting, and massive flower arrangements adorned the tables as guests ate and drank in celebration of the just-married couples. British media stated that Tiffany changed into a flowing white dress with a diamond necklace for the reception. But Tiffany's lavish wedding didn't come without its challenges, one of which almost led to the wedding's cancellation. Just two weeks before Tiffany and Michael's wedding, Hurricane Nicole was detected to hit Palm Beach. Tiffany did not share much about the lead-up to her wedding, but her mom Marla posted on her Instagram. With Hurricane Nicole set to take a landfall in Florida, Marla wrote on her feed, We've got a lot of balls in the air last minute prep for Tiff and Michael's wedding. Blessing time, breathing through all of it, and remembering to put God in the center. A few days before the big day, Tiffany was reportedly flipping out after her welcome dinner was jeopardized by Hurricane Nicole. They've sent staffs home. Tiffany's still there, an insider said, reflecting Trump's luxurious Palm Beach residence. The source added, Some guests were already in for the week, and things had already been planned. It was going to be a whole over-the-top thing. They had to cancel events today and canceled a golf outing for tomorrow. Everyone is stuck inside. Hurricane Nicole slammed into Florida earlier in the week, leading up to the wedding, shutting down Palm Beach International Airport, which affected those who wanted to fly in for the wedding. Reports say that Tiffany and Michael were expecting 500 guests to attend. It was unclear at the time just how many people had to change their RSVP due to the storm. One insider said, Tiffany has been waiting to plan a very big wedding. Her fiance is from a very wealthy family. She is from a very wealthy family, and they want all their friends from around the world to be there. However, the pair was able to obtain their marriage license on Tuesday, hours before the Palm Beach County Courthouse was forced to shut down for the week. Despite the bad weather, Tiffany was able to celebrate her bridal shower the weekend before her wedding, which took place alongside her sisters and closest friends. They did have to cancel some other additional wedding events, but the major part was the place, which is all that mattered, really.